weekend, you guys clinched the unbeaten Big Ten record this weekend. What does that mean for you um, and for the team going forward? You know, um, as you coach longer, you know, I think it. I, I think selfishly it becomes less about you and more about your team. I think when you're a younger coach, you think it's all about you. And, uh, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't care for me, but I really care for our seniors. And I care for everyone, you know. Um, we are, we're, we're yet to have a class leave this program without a Big Ten title. And I think that that's pretty extraordinary. Yeah, that's right. You know, there's not many. Most programs are dying to win one, you know. And for every class to ever... I know lacrosse has sort of had every class win a national championship. Yeah. And I, I'd love to be in Kelly's shoes. You know, one day I hope I will be. But, uh, you know, like to say that for these girls, our seniors, you know, we've, we've talked over and over again that the last couple of years have been hard. And, and in my opinion, through no real fault of anyone, you know, bad luck with certain injuries and unfortunate incidents. Um, and, uh, you know, we kept doing things that I think it takes to be a championship team even when we weren't maybe good enough and then you know this year when we were good enough all the all the things that the little things we do on a daily basis really paid off um speaking of sort of winning championships you guys haven't won a big 10 championship since 2014. um what are you sort of doing talking to your team about to get back to that stage you mean the tournament yeah the big 10 um, you know, no different than we talked any week, you know, look, we want to win everything we play. We've talked about it the whole year, that a good team can play throughout the year. Um, you know, the tournament has lost it, sort of, uh, you know, I feel, I, I don't know, I mean, I feel like everything's all about the regular season now, which I'm not a big fan of. I, I, I voted for the tournament winner to be the champion of the team because then only one team can win it. This, this year we were fortunate to go undefeated so we didn't share it. But so many years over the last eight years it's been shared so everyone walks around with a Big Ten championship, which they should, you know. Um, but I, you know, I like the tournament because there's only one winner at the end of it and it's kind of exciting. You, you lose, you're done. So it gives it a little bit of an extra edge. And, you know, we've been pretty well in that tournament over the years. And uh, I look for the same yeah, just speaking more to the tournament, um, you guys obviously the top dog, undefeated, number one seed. You're going to get the best effort of every team you play. Um, how difficult is that to sort of manage, and what are you telling your players in order to be able to manage that as the top seed, getting the best effort from every team? Well, I don't think it's any different than we saw in the regular season. I mean, we saw that Friday night against Penn State, and they came out ripping the ball and playing really well, and they're, they're not even in the tournament this weekend. So we've had that all year. It won't be any different in the tournament. Um, really proud of the fact that we had to go on the road against the three top other seeds in the tournament and beat them on the road. Um, you know, our goal will be to beat everyone more handily. So there's something to play for, right? Like, you know, instead of four threes, let's just get it done quicker. So that's our goal and mentality this weekend. Yeah. Um, is there anything different that you're telling your team in terms of preparation, maybe mentally or, or physically or whatever it may be? Why would we change a winning formula? <laughs> Makes sense to me. Um, so what are your expectations for the team in terms of the Big Ten tourney? Obviously you want to win, but anything you want to see specifically? Yeah, I still want to see us play better. I still want us to compete better. I still just don't want us to give away a single spot. I feel like we're still giving up spots from time to time. And at this point in the year, that's unacceptable. And you won't beat a great team if you do that. So, you know, it's, not, it's another opportunity for us to learn to play a complete match. And, uh, you know, we, we're still playing for a lot. We want to host, we want to, you know, make a run at the NCAA. So this weekend is our first opportunity to get a taste of, you know, one and done right. kind of thing. Right. Awesome. Well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Claire, can I ask one more thing? Yes. The weather hasn't always cooperated this spring, but you were able to get outside last weekend for both matches. Looks like the forecast looks okay for this weekend to be outdoors. How does the game change a little, little bit from being indoors to being outdoors? Oh gosh, it's vastly different. Yeah, it was scary this weekend. Uh, we didn't get one hit outside last week, and you know, Penn State was right at 50, and it was cold and windy, and I was like, but I saw Sunday, and I knew we'd be out, and. You know, Columbus is a little further south. They probably hit more outside than we do on a regular basis. But, you know, good players adapt, good players adjust. Um, it's slower and, like, doubles it really impacts you. Um, 
but you know, um, you know we're, we're, we're disciplined mentally and I think that's the key. And it looks great in Minnesota. Traditionally, the Big Ten tournament's been good there, outdoors. So excited to go play outside.